A developing story right now, a budget battle heating up. Time is running out for lawmakers to decide what to do about across-the-board budget cuts. If they take effect, aviation will be hard hit. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart live at DIA. Mark, we're talking about more expensive plane tickets and delayed flights. Absolutely a possibility, Teresa, if these cuts take place and if these cuts are extended for a long period of time. All day today, lawmakers, many lawmakers have been painting a very bleak and dire picture about what could happen. For example, here at the airport, we could perhaps see very long lines here at the TSA. Yet, if you don't fly, you too could also be impacted by all of this. The public's going to notice it right away. Delays, cancellations, long lines. The air traffic control system is going to slow down. Just a taste of what could happen if the federal spending cuts go into effect on March 1st, as government workers could be slashed, including the men and women in the control tower. With the controller's reduction, they're only going to be able to handle a certain amount of air traffic over a certain period of time, they're not gonna put more planes into the sky than they can reasonably handle. Smaller airports could feel the impact just as much. Here at Centennial, the FAA may be forced to shut down the control tower at night. We have nighttime operations. We uh, conduct, uh, obviously, medevac flights, uh, air ambulance. Uh, they would be impacted. Uh, we have cargo flights out of here. Uh, we obviously have corporate uh, uh, aircraft fly out of here. What happens in the sky determines what happens on the ground, impacting the economy and everyday life. So much today that relies on just-in-time delivery, uh, everything from fresh flowers to fresh fish. I mean, the entire supply chain for most of the retail industry is based on uh, aviation being able to get goods to people. Even though some politicians are presenting all of this perhaps as a giant scare tactic, I can tell you the airlines and the airports are paying attention. Over the weekend, air traffic controllers will be meeting, trying to devise a plan B if this what if really comes to be. We are live at DIA tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.